Jamika, and if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail. I am a sonographer, but I am a wife and a mother first. So on my channel, I do everything family life and sonography life. And if this is what you're into, please subscribe and also hit that like button. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about five things. I don't know what it is with the five. I think a five is a good number to start off with, just to let you know, to inform you, but I'm about to let you know five things that make it really difficult for a man to work in ultrasound. Let's get into the video. I have my son here, say hi. Mm -hmm. So, number one, it is difficult for a man to work in ultrasound. And I'm not telling you that you can't be an ultrasound tech. Believe me, I worked around a lot of men and actually a man has trained me by the name of Kyle. He was a traveler and he taught me everything he knew, vascular, OB, everything. So, can't say men does not work in this field, they do. So, but with that being said, it is difficult for a man to scan an ultrasound because they deal with a lot of women. And dealing with women, it's, they have to worry about body parts. They have to worry about um, religion, um, preferences, things like that with different ethnicities. Scanning breast. A man cannot scan a breast. They can, but nine times out of 10, the patient will refuse their service. Um, it's intimate, it's you're rubbing all over the chest area. It's just not a comfortable position for a man to be put in as an ultrasound tech, scanning women's breast. The next one, number two, would be scanning a pelvic. Scanning a pelvic, tons of men do it every day in the work field, in this career. Yes, men look at the JJs. <laughs> However, Men cannot look at the JJs because that is a privacy issue, right? So we will drape them and once we drape them, then the man will hand the EV or the transvaginal probe to the patient and she will insert it herself. A man should never look under the sheet. If they do, that's just gross. I don't know. I have, I had to train a guy one time and he was like looking under the sheet and I'm like, no, you can't do that. Like, that's not etiquette. Um, you pass her and it was his first one. So he didn't really know, but I thought he got that training in school and he did not So with that being said, he, I taught him the correct way. You hand her the probe, you lift the sheet up without looking and you hand her the probe tell her how to insert it and then go from there that's and then he'll he'll take the wand back and then that's how he scans and he should never have to look under the sheet at all the third hardest area that a man has to scan would be anywhere on a woman's body i know right you're like well that's what ultrasound does well if a man has a pelvic or an abdomen and the patient doesn't feel quite comfortable with the man, the man has to do has to do this on a pelvic. And if the patient is not comfortable, it's nine times out of 10, he will have to do this on any other organ that he's scanning on that patient, is to get a woman chaperone. That's a must. A man has to have a woman chaperone, chaperone to scan a pelvic if the patient is not comfortable with him touching her body or a lot of, um, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of Indian cultures um, have, women do not, they, no, you can't touch a woman. And a woman, and I mean, Americanized, not so deep into, um, but, they will allow you to with a chaperone, but majority of Indian cultures I've seen, they don't want a man 
I don't care what it is, they're gonna wait to get a woman to do their scan. Um, and the husband will speak up for the wife and be like, no, don't. So that's, those are just my scenarios that I've been in. So, and that's what I've seen. But um, yeah, so please correct me if I'm wrong down in the, in the comments to let me know if that's a cultural thing where another man don't touch the wife or is it just their preference because I'm not sure. Number five would be scanning OB patients. You don't see male techs too often in an OB clinic because they do have to sometimes do pelvics and transvaginal probes and with the whole, you know, belly out and the low pants rise, you know, it's just easier to hire a female tech versus a male tech, but believe me, they're out there. You guys are very, very far and few in between, but you're out there. So those are five things that is difficult for a man to scan on female patients. Um, you have, they have to have chaperones. They have to make sure that their staff, the person, well, the department that they're working for is staffed enough to be able to pull someone else from their job to chaperone. Um, yeah. So I really hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my family here on YouTube.